Grace, people of God. Grace, people of God. So let's open our Bible. Matthew 9, verse 20 to 22. I read in the spirit of the Most High. A woman who has suffered from severe bleeding for 12 years came behind Jesus and touched the edge of his cloth. She said to herself, If only I touch his cloth, I will get well. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, my daughter, your faith has made you well. At that very moment, the woman became well. Praise the living God. At that very moment, that very moment, she became well. What are you passing through has a challenge. What is that pain that you are going through or you have been going through? Where, what is that persecution that you think God cannot take away? I titled this message, My Pains Are My Best Friends. My Pains Are My Best Friends. Turn and tell your neighbor, Neighbor, your pains are your best friends. Your pains are your best friend because they teach you. They make you know about those that are around you. They make you know the kind of friends you are moving with. They make you know, help you to know where you ought to go to. This woman with the issue of blows. Women, you can really stand and tell the people how it means for somebody to be bleeding for 12 good years. 12 good years. I believe those that were around her, they abandoned her. The husband that she called my own, my best friend, abandoned her. The family that she think without them, she cannot do anything. They abandoned her. Who is that best friend around you that you have not yet discovered? That you think she is your best friend. You think he is your best friend. I have come to disappoint you. Your best friend is your pains. Because only the pains will tell you the truth that you need to know. I say only your pains will give you the right direction. Your mother, your father, your friend, your children... They cannot give you the right direction. Because when you sleep in the night and you're wetting your pillow, they are not there with you. Only that pain is there with you. This woman, everybody abandoned her. The only best friend she had was that pain that she was going through. And that pain caused her to meet Jesus. I say your pains will cause you to meet Jesus today in the name of Jesus. You being here today, most of us, we have not come to worship God. But we came here because of the challenges we are going through. Because of the situation that you are going through brought you in the temple of the Lord's church. Maybe you have been going to places where that pain has made you to discover Jesus today. Amen. 
this woman had no friend. If she had friend, the Bible would have written there that Jesus turned around and saw her with friends. But the Bible said, Jesus turned around and saw her. It means she was alone. The only best friend that she had was that pain. And that pain caused her to touch somebody she could never touch. Your pains. If you are not passing through challenges, you can never meet Jesus. If you are not passing through persecutions, you will never come in contact with Jesus. This woman, might be she has been going to different places. Native doctors, what can we say, etc. But her pains make her to understand you are not taking the right way. You are not taking the right direction. The moment she took the right direction, she be made whole. So people of God, I've come to make you to understand that the pains you are going through, they are not there to destroy you. The persecution you are passing through, they are not there to take you away from the presence of God. Maybe you have been in church for 10 years seeking the face of God and nothing is happening. Search yourself. You have not yet taken the right direction. Maybe something is still holding you by. Hatred is still holding you by. Your sins, you are in church, but your ways does not show as the right child of God. Search yourself. Search yourself. This woman, she put her focus as a Christian to encounter God. You need focus. You need focus. Her in this woman was walking and she was there. Looking around, they say, Madam, you know that woman, that woman that has done this, those sin could have derailed her from seeing Jesus. You are a child of God. But when you leave the church, what do you do in the secret? What do you do in the secret? Where are the places you go to? Those things are there to distract you from meeting Jesus. Those things are there to distract you, people of God. Unforgiveness. Groceries. You have no focus. You cannot focus on God. And those things are there to pull you by. This woman was walking. All what she had in her mind. If I could touch. She's coming. If I can only touch. Only touch. She did not speak with Jesus. But some of us here, yeah, we have come face to face with Prophet Boris. And the situation is not still changing. It's not changing. She was not looking at those that was around her. 
kept her focus. And the pain was there to say, my daughter, you know what you are looking for. You know where you are going to. These people around you, they don't concern you. What they are doing, they are not there for you. You have your own mission. And that mission is for you to touch Christ. What is your mission here on earth? Is your mission here on earth to cause others pains? Is your mission to see how you are going to bring others down? You forget about your own self, what you are going through. Even in the church, when we come, a sister is still called, have you seen the man of God? Look at what he's putting on. You have come to encounter Jesus. If you are feeling that pain, you will not be listening to what people are saying. You are from one church to another. That will not help you to meet Jesus. Only your focus. Your pains are your best friends. The man of God said last week that if you hit a rock, you should not look at that rock. But you should focus. Because this, that rock there is a stepping stone to make you to, to look forward. To help you to look for, forward. If you know the pains you are going to, you are going through, and you know what has brought you here, I tell you, you are not leaving this place the same way you came in. I say you will not leave this place the same way you came in. When it's time to pray, you will pray like a mad woman because you want to touch that Messiah. At times when the, 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 the apostles are giving mass prayer, I turn and look around. I will see somebody who will just stay like this and be watching others. My sister, my brother, my mothers, that woman with the issue of blood, she never turned around to look at the apostles that were working with Jesus. She did not even put her focus on what is happening around her. All what she had in mind is to touch Jesus' garment. What do you have in mind today as you are seated there? What are you saying about your own situation? Do you want to go back home without very pain? Don't be distracted. Put your focus. Our pains are there to give us the right direction. The right direction. At times, you see a brother in the church. Morning, he's there on this altar praying. Evening, that brother is here praying. He will, when you look at that brother, you will say, the one a Christian. In fact, the one is a man of God. But immediately God bless you, you leave the presence of God. And I want to tell you, there will be something that will tell you that my son, you are going astray. It's only your pain. When the pain will come again the second time, you will rush back to, to Jesus. You will rush back to Jesus. At times, I even see some, some women that were looking for fruit of the womb. I will not be seeing them in church. And when I call them, the only thing they will tell me, Apostle, 
Time I begin to overtake my time. That you are picking is not taking your time for you to worship your God. That business that you have been asking God for so long, praying day and night, fasting, is now becoming your God. I cannot lock my store to come to church. Even on Sundays, we open our stores. But the only thing that will remind you, you that go back to your father when that pain will come again. That's why I say your pains are your best friends. Because only they are there to tell you the truth. How to live your life. How to focus on your creator. With that pains, some of us we cannot make heaven. Yes, with that pain, some of us will not make heaven. <laughs> the pains are there to draw us closer, closer, closer to where we belong to. When we are comfortable, why should I pray? I don't need prayers. That's why at times they insult us Christians. They call us, we are frustrated. You tell them that I'm not frustrated. I know where I belong. I know where I am going to. So your pains are your best friends. To conclude this message, let's open the book of Genesis 21. Genesis 21, 1 and 2. I read in the spirit of the Most High. The Lord bless Sarah as he has promised. Verse 2. And she became pregnant and bare a son to Abraham when he was old. It does not matter for how long you have been in that pain, people of God. Pain. Don't look at the duration of the pains. Look at what God is saying about you. I'm talking about the woman of faith. God visited Abraham when Abraham was 99 years old. Can somebody of 99 years old give birth now on earth? 99 years old, people of God. I want to tell you, it does not matter how long you have been in that situation. What matters is where you are going to. Don't look at that situation. I've been in that situation for 90 years. That woman with the issue of blood, she was in her situation for 12 years. It's not easy for a woman. If it happened to you just for a year, you would die. You will not live. But she was there for 12 years. Keep your faith. Keep your face. Keep on focusing on your father. He created you. He knows the best for you. He knows the best to give to you. Jesus knows the best for you. What have you been asking God? Is it marriage? Is it business? He's able to do it for you. 
He is able to do it for you. Amen. Don't look at the number of years you have been asking Jesus. Stop moving from one church to another. Just put your life as the woman of the issue of blood. And he will see you through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. I leave you here in faith to meet you back in faith. Come, Father, come, Son, come, Holy Spirit, come.